Hello, I'm Jim Moyer, head of the Department of Plant Pathology at North Carolina State University. Thank you for taking a few minutes to learn about our department. It is a comprehensive department of plant pathology, one of the largest in the United States. It supports a broad spectrum of programmatic areas from discovery science and genomics, plant microbe interactions, pathogen biology and ecology, to more mission-oriented programs that provide disease management strategies to production agriculture. This is a rich environment that supports our strong commitment to graduate education. Enjoy the next few minutes learning about the department and then feel free to contact me or any one of the faculty for additional information. The state of North Carolina is unique for its diverse growing regions, ranging from the coastal plain in the east, the Piedmont in the center part of the state, and the Appalachian Mountains in the west. These diverse growing regions support a successful agricultural industry with 10 million farmed acres and a $2 billion annual market. This industry is extremely diverse. We grow apples to zucchini with every fruit, nut, vegetable, horticultural, and row crop in between. As the 15th fastest growing city in the country, Raleigh boasts a population of 370,000. It is ranked number one as the best place for business and careers by Forbes, and is one of the best American cities for singles. These accolades are due in part to our close proximity to the Research Triangle Park, with a broad spectrum of companies ranging from university spin-offs and startups to multinational Fortune 100 research and development operations the Research Triangle Park boasts one of the largest concentration of high technology workers in the United States. Agricultural industry giants such as Bayer, BASF, and Syngenta have their headquarters in this area. North Carolina State University is the largest university in North Carolina and the premier land-grant institution. Founded in 1887, the school is now home to 31,000 students and 8,000 faculty and staff. Research expenditures for NC State exceed $325 million annually, with 70% of the faculty engaged in sponsored research and over 2,500 graduate students supported by research grants. The Princeton Review ranks NC State as a best value for students, and this school is ranked third in patent pipeline power of all universities in the life sciences. My experience here has been great, both on a research standpoint, a teaching standpoint, and a personal standpoint. Certainly living in, in this part of North Carolina is a great place to be. NC State is a very vibrant community, both research-wise and with the student body. I came to NC State because of its reputation. Uh, the Department of Plant Pathology here is one of the best in the country. Um, we have outstanding faculty, outstanding students, and tremendous resources to do research. I really liked it here, like the diversity of programs here. And, uh, the diversity of agriculture in North Carolina is also really nice, looking back and what interested me as a student. I chose NC State University because NC State University is well renowned for its commitment to professionalism and academic excellence. So it's been a privilege actually to work in the plant pathology department because it's actually one of the top ranked departments in the whole world. The Department of Plant Pathology resides in the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences, the largest college at NC State, totaling over 100 million in research expenditures annually. It is comprised of 20 academic departments with almost 3,000 on and off campus faculty and staff. The North Carolina Cooperative Extension Service is NC State's largest outreach effort with more than 2 million face-to-face -face contacts annually. Supporting this are four regional research centers and 18 agricultural research stations located throughout the state. We have probably one of the most dedicated teaching faculty that I can think of in the area of plant pathology. Our people, by and large, teach because they want to teach. They do have their research, they do have their extension responsibilities, but if we look at our faculty that are teaching our students, they want to teach. I think it's my job in mentoring graduate students to take them from a place of dependence to a place of independence. 
Now on the other side of what I want to do is give a student all the experience that, that they want and need to get out into the real world. And that's what I love about NC State and about working in North Carolina is how many opportunities there are. Just tremendous opportunities in extension. If they want to get in front of growers and talk to them, if they want to be out in the field and do experiments and see crops growing, see how farmers farm, they have all that opportunity. My experience at North Carolina State has provided me a lot of opportunities that I hadn't expected to be able to have. Especially teaching, I've been able to get some teaching publications, been able to um, do a lot in terms of developing online education for plant pathology. And I don't think that's an opportunity that many students get, is to be involved in that kind of activity outside of just their research. The Department of Plant Pathology has the distinction of generating the most research dollars in the college, supporting strong programs in research, extension, and education. The department has 35 faculty and 37 graduate students. Research focuses on microbial ecology and epidemiology, post-parasite interactions and genomics, and diagnosis, forecasting, and disease management. It's a very good environment to work with uh, fellow colleagues. One reason is there's such a diversity of faculty, and there's an expertise in almost any area you want it in. People say that you can't be all things to all people, but our department is actually one of the few departments in the country that can be all things to all people. The faculty here in the plant pathology department at North Carolina State are very dedicated and really show their professionalism through their efforts in teaching, research, and extension. They really take pride in teaching graduate students. You can see that both in classes and also through our mentors, whether it be our PIs, members of our committee, or just any of the faculty whatsoever. I'm deeply impressed by our faculty members because they are huge in passion in doing research and imparting knowledge to our students. Most of the faculty and programs in the department are centered in Gardner Hall on NC State's main campus. This location serves as home to the Plant Disease and Insect Clinic, where commercial growers and homeowners can submit samples for disease diagnosis. So through our services, people can accurately identify their, their pest problems and therefore select the, the best management practice to bring that problem under control as quickly as possible, as inexpensively as possible, and with minimal environmental impact. Several of our graduate level courses in the department uh, hold laboratories occasionally in the uh, plant disease and insect clinic where they're exposed to the variety of different uh, crop plants that are submitted to the clinic and the variety of techniques that are used to diagnose the, the problems on those plants. It also is home to the NC State Phytotron, a leading center for controlled environment research in the United States and one of the largest such facilities in the world. With 60 artificially lighted growth chambers of various sizes, nine photoperiod rooms, and five temperature controlled greenhouses, the Phytotron lends itself to an enormous number of experiments, usually between 50 and 70 different projects each year. It's a lot of fun in our lab. We always have a lot of people kind of buzzing around the lab and getting work done. So it's a collaborative type of relationship with all the students. We all interact and we all work towards the same goals and we all have a single checklist that, they, that we all work off of. So it's a lot of fun in our lab. Like I said, it's more of a family environment. We look to each other as family members instead of um, lab mates. And so we get a lot, of, a lot of problems that come up. We, all, we share those problems and we come together to find solutions for them. I have high expectation of my students. What I tend to do is to provide for them an environment that is very, very enabling so that they can achieve the highest potential uh, possible. Centennial Campus is NC State's vision of a techopolis, mixing the complementary benefits of university faculty, students, and research centers with industry and government counterparts, as well as a blend of large, small, and entrepreneurial businesses. The campus is recognized as a top research science park in the country, with over 130 corporation and government research partners, including the Eastern Headquarters for the USDA Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service and the corporate headquarters of Red Hat. 
Centennial also serves as the home for seven laboratories run by faculty in the plant pathology department. Five are conjoined in the Center for Integrated Fungal Research. Two others form the Center for Biology of Nematode Parasitism, and one is in the Plant Virus Genetics Group. The environment at Centennial gives these labs a great atmosphere to advance studies in the functional genomics of these important pathogen groups. Well, I think when you go to the APS meeting and you start to talk to the people that are faculty in other universities around the country, you realize how many of them got their degrees at NC State University. So I think that speaks volumes for the, the worth of a degree from our department. I think employers understand that there's um, an expectation that our graduate students are going to be well-rounded and they're going to be well-versed in um, all the major aspects of plant pathology. I think graduate students um, are the future of any discipline and, and plant pathology is no exception. I mean, it is through training of this next generation of scientists that uh, we're going to be able to continue to meet the world's food needs. I love graduate students. I think that's what uh, most all of us here at the university do. And I think one of my goals is to provide the environment for them to basically develop, nurture them, and then let them bloom. I now feel like I have a scientific reputation, so to speak, just through my associations that I've been able to, to have through the faculty here. I think my experience here at North Carolina State University will give me a, a stronger fundamental base and so that wherever I go in the world, I'll have this, this foundation so that I can build on. And so with a strong foundation, you can have, uh, build a better future. This experience here will open every single door I want in the future. I'm sure about that.